Hey, I'm Andy, and this is Sprout, and I found this game on Itch.io, and I'll link the game in the description down below for those that are interested. And this is an early demo of what could be a larger game in the future. And this is basically about exploration, discovery, and experimentation. So it's kind of like Proteus, but uh, with a different look and feel to it. And first off, it feels like the mouse sensitivity is really sensitive. Hopefully they will add like a menu screen because there's no menu screen in this game right now because uh, it's a demo and so hopefully they'll add one where I can adjust the mouse sensitivity because it's really sensitive right now and right now I can see a castle I don't know how to get to it uh, I don't think if I fall down I don't I don't think I can jump I, I mean I can jump but I don't think I can jump that far yeah this is really sensitive I don't yeah, I can't change it and I can't interact with things, but I can still venture out and explore. And this is, yeah, it's really sensitive. I'm sorry about that. So there's no sound. Hopefully the future version will have sound. Uh, it says shift to move around faster, but I feel like it's the same speed if I just run normally. That is a huge, ca or a huge part of a castle since it's like broken up on this side. Let's see what's on the other side. Uh, I don't think I can climb this, maybe. Yeah, I can't climb it. Oh well. There seems to be a path though, and there's a doorway. No, you can't enter the doorway. Oh well. <laughs> So yeah, this much like Proteus, the, it's just basically about exploration and finding new things. I don't know if it's procedurally generated. If so, it's it's pretty awesome, and I don't know how vast or how big the the actual island or land base is. So it's for me to find out, I guess. So I'm just gonna explore this for a few, and then I'll probably end the let's play there, just so that. If if you want to try it, then there's like I won't spoil every little thing. So yeah, I see. So is this like an aqueduct? I think I think that's what it's called. There's like a big chasm right there. I don't want to fall in. Then I see something over there, like in the distance. Like it, so far, it's really pretty and really vibrant in terms of color and I think there's like a night day cycle but I could be wrong about that uh, I mean I kind of don't see the sun so I think it's gonna be nighttime soon there's a, that's a big chain uh, let's see what's in this town though is this like the town that the Titan attacked on attack on Titan because I see a broken wall there is this like the many many years after the Titan attacks and everyone's just dead Ladder, I can't climb you. So yeah, it's really interesting to see all these types of environments in this little area. Like, we had the plains earlier, and now we're in a town. Albeit, uh, there's no... There's no people in here, which is kind of spooky in its own right. But we're here just exploring what could be. Like, another thing that reminds me of this is the... This one show... I forget what it's called, but it was about the fairies and uh, how they're playing tricks on people or something. I forget what it's called. I think it's like... I, I think I need to look it up. Anyways, yeah, this is really interesting. Like, I could wander this for a long time if I wanted to, but... As of right now, it's like a very early demo, and it's and the devs said that uh, much of this game is yet to be created, so it's just a simple exploration, and the flora and fauna will be added as the, there will be more updates. So, oh, there's another. This is a large, large area. All right, let's try and get to that area over there in the distance. While I look up that uh, anime, that show's name. Uh, 
Alright, so we have another door here, but we can't really enter it. And let's try oh, there's like a circle here, but oh well. Oh, we can't really interact, so... Oh, the, the, the show's name was Humanity Has Declined, where there's like no technology. Technology was the downfall, I believe. That was the premise, but... It's been a while since I watched this, so I could be wrong. <laughs> but the colors and that town reminded me of that for some reason. And that looks like a leap of death, so I'm not gonna go down there. And there seems like to be a there seems to be like a ho oh that's just a village. So let's just go back past this wall and see what we can find after like past the wall. Uh, unless my mouse decides to be oversensitive again. So yeah, like I don't know what else to say, like this is a pretty exploration walking simulator type of deal. I can't wait to see what they add later on because uh, I think it has a lot of potential to have a lot more things than it has right now. Like maybe they could add animals, maybe they could add different types of uh, plants and all that stuff and maybe maybe like things that you can interact with. Because as of right now, this this map is pretty huge, but a lot of it is just grass, which is fine right now as like an early prototype demo. Uh, and I like all the areas that they put in, but I really want to figure out if they're gonna put like some sort of story in the future where like how how did the wall, this great uh, fortress type wall, uh, how did why did it fall down, and what happened to all the people, and uh, Oh, there's the sun. <laughs> oh, I almost fell to my death there. Uh, can we get to that? Like, what caused this uh, rift that broke the wall? And can we eventually get up there? I don't know, because I'm going to try and jump. Doesn't seem like I can because I can't use a ladder. Or, I mean, apparently I can now. So it doesn't seem like I can jump over there, but I can jump over there. So at least here's some exploration that we can find. Oh, so we can't actually climb the ladder, but we can jump on top. So uh, I think this is the highest that we can go. I think this is the highest we can go. So um, yeah, seems pretty nice. Like what caused all these things to fall down and stuff like that? Hopefully it'll be explained in future updates. Uh, oh, nope, that's not fall. I want to climb this. Like, the mouse is so sensitive. Hopefully they fix that later on. So we're over here right now. I don't think I can get any higher. Yeah, I don't think I can reach the top, but this is just an exploration game. And we're back in this town, and it seems to have like a moon-like gravity, which is interesting in and of itself. And yeah, because it's like wreckage here, and the town is desolate. Like, the the differences between the all bright colors and the, the lack of people is kind of disturbing. And where did the sun go? Like, is that the moon? I think that's the moon, so there is a night and day cycle, I guess, but it doesn't seem like it's nighttime. It's just perpetually day. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep exploring. Here's more aqueducts, I think that's what it's called. I think I've already ventured the most, like, I already ventured the majority of this area. I don't know what else I can say about the Oh, here, it's getting darker. So, I think that's the moon. Like, it'll be awesome if you can craft and do all types of things, but I, I, I know that the main focus of this is exploration and discovery, but I don't know how you can experiment if all you can do is jump and you can't really interact with things. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe I can get to the top over here. Oh, oh, I'm at the top. Can I do anything with it? No, it seems like there's a doorway over there and can't seem to enter the doors. Yeah, like, why is this door boarded up and what's in there? Like, I don't know and I want to find out, but since this is an early demo, the, 
or early alpha demo, it w there's not much to know, and I just want to know more. I wonder what would happen if you jump off into the abyss. Wait, this isn't going to abyss. It's, I'm actually, there's more stuff here? No. No, there's the abyss, so I wonder what's hap what would happen if I jump off it. And... No, oh, you just get respawned into a random area. So I wonder if there's, like, in future areas, like, there's a way to climb this tower, because it doesn't seem like it. And I can try to climb the chain, but I don't think it leads all the way up there, uh, like, easily. Like, I could try and bunny hop, but... I, and it's getting darker, and the clouds are starting to look like smoke. And, like, in the distance over there, it looks like there's smoke instead of uh, clouds. So, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it feels kind of unnerving that everything is in uh, orangey haze. It feels like something's about to happen and I, uh, something bad. So I don't know. Can I even climb this? I can. So... I'm gonna try... no, no, oh no, I'm, I'm not gonna attempt it anymore. So yeah, I don't know what to say, like... This looks like it's been in a war, and the the filter makes it seem like I'm currently in it. However, there's nothing here. But yeah, seriously, those the clouds look like smoke, and it looks, it looks like everything's on fire, so... I don't know, I guess I can leave it there uh, for this Let's Play. So this is called Sprout, and I'll link it in the description down below for those that are interested. It's a free download on Itch.io, and yeah, it's like you just explore and see all types of different things. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, feel free to try it out. It's free. And like I said before, I'll link it in the description down below for those that are interested. So thank you for watching, and have a nice day.